a great danger arose for Ukrainian army in the east of the country, a large army group can be surrounded. Russia is trying to increase its advantage in eastern Ukraine and break through the front line using the time while Ukraine waits for the arrival of the first shipment of military aid from the United States, according to the New York Times. It is noted that in recent weeks, Russian troops have captured or entered a number of villages on the Eastern Front, which indicates a deterioration of the situation in the region for Ukrainian troops, which in particular was announced by Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Oleksandr Sirsky, noting that Ukrainian fighters had retreated from three villages near Avdiivka, Berdichiv, Semenivka and Novomykhailivka. Military experts say Russia's recent successes reflect its desire to use a window of opportunity to continue attacks until the first shipment of military aid arrives in Ukraine to help ease the plight of its defense forces. The New York Times also quotes the head of the non-governmental research group Ukrainian Center for Security and Cooperation, Serhii Kuzan, who said that the Ukrainian command had to make a choice between a bad situation and an even worse one and decided to lose territory, not soldiers. The situation is also complicated by the fact that Russian troops managed to break through the northern part of the defense line and quickly advance to the village of Ocheretny, located on the road leading to Pokrovsk. At the same time as the newspaper writes, it is not yet known whether Russian troops have gained full control over it. The breakthrough of Russian troops in Ocheretino created a threat of encirclement of Ukrainian army units belonging to the so-called Donetsk group. All attempts to correct the situation have failed, so there is a high probability of a retreat to new frontiers. The Ukrainian publication Strana.ua writes about this. Taking control of Ocheretino and continuing the offensive in a western and northern direction allows Russian troops to reach the rear of the defense lines that the Ukrainian armed forces have just begun to build in this area. The main danger of such a maneuver for the Ukrainian armed forces is that behind them there are no defensive lines, minefields, etc. They did not have time to build anything there. Now there is a threat of encirclement of a large group of Ukrainian armed forces if the situation is not corrected. UN confirms that Russia hit Kharkiv with North Korean missile. The United Nations has confirmed the use of North Korean Hwasong-11 missiles by Russia. In particular, they were used to strike Kharkiv in January, according to Reuters. According to the agency, in early April, three observers monitoring the implementation of UN sanctions against North Korea, which prohibit the import and export of military technology to the North Korea, traveled to Ukraine to inspect missile debris. They found no evidence that the missile was made in Russia. Such a location, if the missile was under control of Russian forces, would probably indicate procurement by nationals of the Russian Federation, the observers wrote in a report available to the agency. As it was stated in the report, Ukraine's information indicates that the missile was launched from the territory of Russia. On January the 2nd of this year, the Russian forces launched a missile attack on Kharkiv. Afterward, the spokesman for the Kharkiv Regional Prosecutor's Office, Dmitro Chubenko, told reporters that the enemy used a North Korean-made missile to launch the attack. Oleksandr Kovalenko, a military and political observer of the Information Resistance Group, said in a commentary to RBC Ukraine that Russia could have used a Hwasong-11 missile. Hwasong-11 is a short-range ballistic missile first tested in May 2019. It follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory and visually resembles the Russian Iskander-M leading analysts to consider the Hwasong-11 a potential copy. According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, estimates the missile can carry a warhead weighing 500 kilograms up to a distance of 450 kilometers or a lighter one up to 690 kilometers. Its length is approximately 7.5 meters, diameter 0.95 meters, with a total mass of 3,415 kilograms. In the terminal phase of flight, the Hwasong-11 is capable of maneuvering, complicating interception. Its trajectory could pose a problem for missile defense systems. The use of fins for maneuvering complicates interception prediction. It remains unknown whether the North Korean missile has sophisticated guidance systems for accurate targeting after evasion maneuvers.